Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to study another aspect of mechanics where we'll be analyzing strength of material, right? Which we'll be looking into a topic called center of gravity. Now look at this figure. We're told to look for the center of gravity along x axis and along y axis. Now, what you do first of all is to see how the dimension is being dimensioned. Now, if you look at this, we are told that the entire length of this figure is 160. Right? Meaning that half of it, watch, half of it from here. Let me just do that. Meaning that half of it from here, half from this point is 80. Here is 80. But mind you, if you remove 10, because from this point to this point here, hmm, we say it is what? It is 10. Right? If you remove 10 from 160, you are left with what? 150. So, that means from this point to this point is 75. From this point to this point is what? Is also 75. So, 75 from here to here is 75. From here to here, 25, that is 150, plus 10, that is what, 160, right? Now, since from here to here is 50, automatically, from here to here is what, 50. So, this point here is what, 50. Similarly, here to here is what, 50. Because it is a symmetrical object, what you will see in the left-hand side is equal to what you see in the right-hand side, right? Now, look at this. From here to here is 25. So, if I remove 10 from 75 right that means from here to here is 60 10 plus 50 is what 60 60 minus 75 that means this point here is what 15 here also is what 15 so this is how i want to split them so i can decide to say that this is my figure one this is my figure two if i divide it horizontally right this is my figure two this is my figure 3, this is my figure 4, right, I'm dividing this way, this is my figure 5, and this is what, my figure 6, right, so let's see how we do, so I'll start from 1, I'm going horizontally, so one thing is, along x axis, I'm going to write, along x axis, along x axis, I mean, my center of gravity along x axis. I mean, I'm going this direction, right? Now, from I'm looking for x1 along x axis, center of gravity. The formula will give me my x bar is equal to what the summation of what ax all over what the summation of what of a, right? So from here, since we have six figures, six different figures, plain figure there, which are, in, which are triangles, I mean which are rectangles, we say we have A1, X1, plus A2, X2, plus A3, X3, plus A4, X4, plus A5, X5, plus a6 x6 because they are six plane figure all over a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 so let's start for the first one we say we have x1 for x1 so that we put into the value so i'm going to look for the plane figure of x1 here and this is x1 here so we're talking about along x axis so from here to here is 160 but because it's a rectangle i'm talking about a rectangle this way watch from here to here the first figure one from here to here is what 160 right 160 then the thickness here is what is 10 so 160 and 10. so since i'm moving along s1 here to here is 160 so it will be 160 over 2 160 
over 2 because the center of it if it divide by 2 and that will give us what 80 millimeter right similarly my a1 will be length times breadth and that will be what 160 times 10 length times breadth will be what 160 times 10 and that will give me 1600 millimeter 1600 millimeter square right the next one should be x2 so for x2 let's see this is my x2 here so before i get to x2 i'm going to travel from here to here which is what 15. so first of all input my 15 down right plus now the figure i'm considering is x2 so what is the length of x2 from here to here is 50 50 plus 10 and that is what 60 so that will be 60 over 2 so I'll move to give me 60 over 2 and um, 60 divided by 2 is 30 30 plus 15 will give us 45 millimeter so my a2 will now give me let's see and I'm considering this figure here x2 so if I bring it out I said 50 plus 10 that is what 60 so the length is 60 and the height here from here to here is what is still 10 you can see the height here is 10 so we have 10 here so that will be 10 60 times 10 so i'll move forward i'm going to put 60 multiplied by 10 and that will give me 600 millimeter square then for the next one we're having here is S3. X3. Now if I move to X3, right? If this is center is X3 here. So if I get to S3, I'm going to travel from here to here, which is what 75. Right? So I'm going to write my 75 first. Plus now that X3. Distance of S3 is 10. From here to here is what is 10. So 10 divided by 2. So the part I'm considering is divided by 2. All over 2. And 75 plus 5 will give me what? 80 millimeter. They will have 83. Now let's see. For my X2, my X3, I'm having a long something like this, which is this, right? And from here, where it starts from, to this point here, is 10 plus 50, that is 60, plus 100, that is 160. So the total height here is what? 160. Then the thickness here is what? 10. So 160 times 10. That is length times breadth here. So here I'll be having 160 times 10. 160 times 10. And that will give me 1600 millimeter square again right so we're talking about x4 x4 for x4 before i get to this figure before i get to this figure 4 i will travel from here this 75 plus 10 is what 85 right so i write my 85 first I'm going to write my 85 first. I'll write my 85 first. And um, it's in my 85 first. Write my 85 first. Plus, now X4. Let's go and look X4. Now, this is my X4. If I travel to another my X4, from here to here is 50. 50 plus 10 is what? 60. So it will be plus 60. So, 60. So we have 60 here. All over 2. So 2 divided by 60, 60 divided by 2 give you 30. 30 plus 85 will give you 100 and what? 15. 115 millimeter. Right? So 30 plus 85. 85 plus 30. 85 plus 30 will give us 115 millimeter. Then my A4 will be, let's see. 
will be the eight four. The eight four will be let's see. We see we're continuing four from here to here is something like this. And we're told it is sixty, right? And the height here is what? It's ten. So we still have six hundred millimeter also. Six hundred millimeter. So sixty times ten. And that gives us six hundred millimeter square. And the next one is X five. So for me to get to X five, look at what I'm having here for X five. This is my five here. If I get to five, I'll travel fifteen plus five. That is fifteen plus fifty. That is um, sixty-five. Sixty-five plus ten. If I get sixty-five, so fifteen plus fifteen plus fifty is what sixty-five. So I write sixty-five down. Plus the five I'm considering. The five I'm considering is what is ten. So I'll say ten divided by two, and that'll give me seventy millimeter. So my A five here will now give me. Let's see. You see something like this. Um, the height from here to here is from here to here, which is fifty. So we we'll see something like this. From here to here is fifty. Then thickness is what is ten. So fifty times ten. So we see that is fifty times ten, and that is five hundred millimeter square. Then x six. For x six, if I get this figure here, six from here to this point here, seventy five plus ten is what eighty five, right? So count eighty five, write my eighty five now. Plus the six I'm considering is ten, so it will be ten over two, and that will give me ninety millimeter. So when you say six is ten, what we are considering the length is what is ten. So I'll divide it by two. Now the area, since we're having something like this, we're having still having something like this. From here to here is what ten, and the height here is what is. 50 so we have 50 so this will be a6 and that will give us what 50 is it 50 yes times 10 and that will give me what 500 millimeter square so we've successfully gotten the value now we're going to put the value into this our formula here so I can say that therefore the x bar will now give me half a one. Putting all your value, a one is one six hundred, right? Multiplied by x one times eighty plus six hundred multiplied by forty five. So another forty five. Multiplying each of them. Plus one six multiplied by eighty one six multiplied by eighty plus six hundred multiplied by one one five plus five hundred multiplied by seventy plus five hundred multiplied by ninety five hundred Multiply by 90. Are we good? We have what we have there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So everything divided by addition of all the areas. So that will give me 1,600 plus 600 plus 1,600 plus 600 plus 500. Plus 500, right? So my x bar here now give me we use a calculator and you say, um, 1 600 plus 80, 1 600 times 80, that give me 128,000 
plus 600 times 45 that will give me 27,000 plus 16 times 80 that will give me 128,000 plus 600 times 115 That is 69,000 plus 770 35,000 plus 500 times 90 45,000 so 45,000 right so everything divided by 1600 plus 600 plus 1600 plus 600 plus 1000 because 500 plus 500 is 1000 that give me 5400 right so move forward my x bar will now give me um, 128,000 plus 27,000 plus 45,000 and that will give me 432,000 divided by 5400 so I can say that my x bar is equals to this divided by 5400 and I'm having 80 millimeter so my answer along x bar is 80 millimeter now you can also do along y bar so let's try for y bar and see right so for the y bar we don't have much issue but let's see how it goes so i'll put it there along y bar so i'll say along y axis along y axis as in the center of gravity along y axis we know the same thing that i recall my y bar is equals to summation of what summation of a y area times vertical distance all over summation of what area right so this will give me a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 plus a4 y4 plus a5 y5 plus a6 y6 right everything all divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 plus a6 so let's start now we'll go for we'll be having y1 first of all so let's see for y1 what we're going to have our figure this is our one right now for me to get y1 y1 is falling on what on um from here to here is how many that is 160 because for me to get to y1 i need to travel 160 that is 100 plus 50 plus 10 right 100 plus 50 plus 10 is 160 so that will get me to y1 so all right my 160 first, right? All right, my 160 plus the Y1 is 10 itself all over 2. You get me? If I get to this one here, I will travel from here to here, which is what? 160. But what I'm considering is 10, so I'll divide it by 2. So the value here I'll be having will be 165 millimeter. And the area A1, it doesn't change. It still remains. 1600 millimeter square 
So since we are dealing with the same figure, so the same area, the area will not change in any of the value. So the y2, y2, for me to get to y2, now this is my y2 here. I need to travel from here to here is 100, from here to here is what, 50. And this is the y2 here. So I will travel 150 before I get to y2, and y2 is what, 15. So it will be 150 plus what 15 divided by 2 and that gave me 157.5 millimeter let's see we we'll say 50 15 divided by 2 sorry did i say 15 did not 15 i mean 10 because from here to here is 10 sorry let's not make that mistake from here to here is 10 this one is 15 here is 15 so the height is 10 here so 150 all over 10 so that'll give me 155 right 155 so let me write it out 155 millimeter right so my a2 still remains and that will be 600 millimeter square right then y3 for y3 for me to get to y3 is just I don't have to I don't I'm not I am not traveling any distance because y3 is touching the ground right so from here to y3 here is what 160 so it will be 160 that is 100 plus 50 plus 10 so divided by 2 so we'll just say 160 divided by what by 2 and that will give us what 80 millimeter so my a3 doesn't change still remain the same thing 1600 millimeter square 1600 millimeter square then y4 y4 will be for me to get to y4 i'm going to travel this is 100 to here is 100 this is 50 150 so it will be y4 is 10 so it will be 150 plus 10 over 2 to so have 150 plus 10 over 2 and that gives us 155 millimeter then A4 still remains. My A4 will be still the same thing as 600 millimeter square. Now we we'll move higher. We have Y5. So for me to get to Y5, which is this, I will travel 100. From here to here is what 100. And that of Y5 is what 50. So it will be 100 that I'm traveling. Plus the distance of the f 5 itself, that is 50 all over 2, and that will give me 125 millimeter. So my A5, still the same thing, and that is 500 millimeter square. Then for A6, for Y6, for me to go to Y6, the same thing, I will travel 100. Right, but the height of Y6 itself from here to here is 250. So it will be 100 that I'm traveling plus the distance of that part itself, and that is 50. And that will still give me 125 millimeter. Right, 125 millimeter. That is my A6, will still remain the same thing as well. 500 millimeter square. I will together now to 100 and that's 50. Now I put my value into this my formula here. So I'm going to see that. Uh, therefore, therefore, the summation that my s my y bar will now give me multiply both of them one six hundred times one sixty five one six hundred times one sixty five plus 600 600 times 155 plus 1600 times 80 plus 600 times 155 plus 500 times 125 500 times 125 plus 500 times 125 500 times 125 so the total this is what area is 5400 just like the previous one I will together
just like what the previous one now if you input your value here we see that 1600 times 165 1600 times 165 is 264000 plus 600 times 165 600 times 155 90 90 what 93 thousand plus 1600 times 80 1600 times 80 128,000 plus 600 times 155, 600 times 155, that is 93,000 plus 500 times 125, 500 times 125, that is 62,500 plus 500 times 125 and that also give me 62,500 so everything divided by 5400 right so we we'll see that this multiplied by this so add everything together this will now give me Two six four thousand plus ninety three thousand plus one two eight thousand plus ninety three thousand plus sixty two thousand five hundred plus sixty two thousand five hundred and that will give me. 703 703,000 divided by what 5400 and my y bar will now give me 130.185 millimeter so that is my y bar so if you found this video helpful don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.